thing you're doing. And I'll go from start to finish. The main important thing, guys, in this problem is we're going to want to apply the power to quotient rule as well as the power to product rule. So the main important thing for you guys to see is this two, since all of my terms are being separated by multiplication and division, I can distribute my power. You cannot distribute your powers across addition and subtraction, but you can distribute across multiplication and division. Hence the power of quotient rule and the power of product rule. So therefore, I now have x to the negative 1 3rd ah, squared times y squared all over x to the 2 thirds squared and y to the negative 1 half squared. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see what it is? Now we know we have negative powers. And remember negative powers, if you have a negative power, if you have a negative power in the numerator, to make it positive, you want to put it in the denominator. If you have a negative power in the denominator, you want to make it positive, put it in the numerator. So what I would recommend here is um, oh, did I do this problem? Or did oh wait, that becomes four. Okay. So anyways, let's go ahead and distribute here. So I have x to the negative two thirds, y squared all over x to the four thirds times y to the negative first. Correct? Then I'm going to rewrite this so we have positive powers. So therefore, I have y squared times y to the first all over x to the 4 thirds times x to the 2 thirds. Does everybody see that? OK, I um, kind of ran out of space, so I'll go up here. Well, what's y squared times y to the first? That's just using our power rule, which is y cubed. Y cubed. And then x to the 4 thirds times um, x to the 2 thirds. Since they have the same denominator, again, using the power rule, we add the powers, which would be 6 thirds. 6 divided by 3 is 2. two. Done. So not only do we do the power rule and the quotient rule, but we can use both at the same time. Okay.